About a week and a half ago, Apple released its new iPhone 8 smartphone, and a lot of people didn't give it the attention that I think it deserves. Of course, all the attention is going over to the iPhone 10, the top of the line flagship, which is about to drop in a few weeks. But in this video, I wanted to jump in and dive deep on a few of the features of the iPhone 8 that I think you need to know about. What's going on tech squad? Andrew Edwards here, editor chief of gearlife.com. If this is your first time here, this channel is all about tech gadgets and gaming. So if you haven't done so already, be sure to hit the subscribe button down below along with the bell notification icon so you don't miss any future videos. I wanted to give you a rundown of about seven features that I think are worth knowing about when considering your next purchase, especially if you're thinking about purchasing an iPhone. Now let's kick it off right off the bat and start with something that impressed me almost immediately, and that is the internal A11 Bionic processor. Now you may think focusing on a processor is a little odd, and I do agree with you, but it's what the A11 Bionic allows the phone to do, and the main thing that it did was maintain that battery life. The iPhone 8 Plus in particular has the most ridiculous battery life I've ever had on an iPhone device. Same form factor as a 6 Plus, 6S Plus and 7 Plus. And in fact, the 8 Plus has a smaller battery than the 7 Plus, yet the battery life outlasts it by hours. I was out doing some camera tests with the 8 Plus, shooting video at 4K 60 frames per second, taking a bunch of photos, using the phone pretty much all day. And I was on LTE, I wasn't on Wi-Fi because I was out of town. And at the end of the day, after taking it off of the charger at about 7.30 in the morning, and then putting it back on the charger at about 11 p.m., I had about 23% battery life left, which is ridiculous. If that was the iPhone 7, even on day one, I definitely would have run out of power somewhere in the middle of the day and would have needed to charge back up. So big shout out to Apple for what they've done with those efficiency cores here in the A11 Bionic processor. Speaking of the processor, when comparing it to last year's A10 Fusion, you get four efficiency cores here up from two, and each core is 70% faster than the efficiency cores in last year's A10 Fusion. There's also improvements to the performance cores. Those are now 25% faster than last year. A second generation performance controller provides more power when you need it while delivering the same great battery life. And this year, the CPU is even able to harness the power of all six cores all at the same time. All right, up next, let's talk about the other thing that impressed me the most about the iPhone 8 and 8 Plus, and that is that camera, especially here on the 8 Plus. That dual camera system really shines this year. At first glance, you may think it's the exact same camera, especially just visually looking at it, but you actually have a more advanced 12 megapixel sensor here. It's a larger and faster sensor and has a new color filter as well as deeper pixels. And on the 8 and 8 Plus, you still get that optical image stabilization for photos and videos, at least as it pertains to the wide angle lens when you're talking about the 8 Plus. Speaking of the 8 Plus, portrait mode gets even better. You now have sharper foregrounds and more naturally blurred backgrounds. Last year when portrait mode launched in beta, it was a little hit or miss. Half the time you get great looking photos and the other half the time they would look ridiculous. This year, portrait mode is out of beta and looking a lot better. But Apple is pushing the boundaries even further with a new portrait lighting mode. This launches as part of iOS 11 with the dual cameras and new facial landmarking, allowing you to create dynamic and dramatic studio lighting effects when you're in portrait mode. This is also currently a beta feature, but you'll find you can get some great shots and again, some that look not so great. But the cool thing about portrait lighting mode is you can actually change the effect on the fly. There's about five different portrait lighting effects that you can use, and even after you take the photo, you can switch between them or turn it off completely if it doesn't look good. But all in all, whether you're taking photos or videos, the iPhone 8 camera is pretty fantastic, and this is the first camera on a smartphone that can shoot 4K at 60 frames per second and 1080p at 240 frames per second, for nice high definition slow motion. Next up on the list is the new glass design. I keep showing you the back of the phone because that is where the visual changes come in. If I show you the front of the phone, it looks pretty much the same as the 6, 6S, and 7. But on back, you get this new glass design. It's all glass front and back with an aluminum bezel around the sides. Apple says this is the most durable glass ever in a smartphone, front and back. It comes in new space gray, silver, and gold finishes. The front and back feature custom glass with a 50% deeper strengthening layer and a new steel substructure with stronger aerospace grade 7000 series aluminum providing additional reinforcement. That said, drop tests do confirm that the screen does still crack 
and the back cracks as well. So if you're clumsy or you just wanna protect your investment, you're probably gonna to wanna to invest in a case. And that leads me to the sponsor of this video, Tech 21. Tech 21 sent over a few of their cases for both the iPhone 8 and 8 Plus, which you can see here. If you're unaware, Tech 21 protects your phone drop after drop. They do it by using scientifically proven impact materials, innovative design, and a rigorous testing methodology developed in partnership with the National Physical Laboratory. Tech 21 cases are drop tested 20 times to ensure durability and long lasting protection, able to withstand the multiple drops that occur in the everyday use of a smartphone. The case allows you access to your function buttons, to your camera, to your charging port, and fit the iPhone 8 perfectly. Big shout out to Tech 21 for sponsoring this video. Next up, we're talking about the iPhone 8 and 8 Plus is charging and the new types of charging that Apple has built into the phone. First is wireless charging. Wireless charging has been around for a while, many years uh, for some of the Android devices out there. This is the first year though that's available on the iPhone. You'll find it here on the iPhone 8 and 8 Plus as well as on the iPhone 10. Apple's been moving to a more wireless device, getting you free from charging cables and headphone cords with the glass back and embedded wireless charging system, the iPhone 8 and 8 Plus are designed for that wireless future that I think we're gonna see sometime in the next four or five years where there'll be no ports on the device at all. Everything will be wireless. But there's also another type of charging that's new to the iPhone this year and that is fast charging. Now a fast charger is not included in the box and I think that's a shame. Apple actually still includes the five watt charger in the box, which is, pitiful because phones as far back as the iPhone 6, maybe even the 5S could charge faster than what that five watt charger could output. But now this year, fast charging is a thing for the iPhone. If you already have a MacBook charger that's USB-C, you can plug in a USB-C to lightning cable and charge your phone that way. It goes from about 0% to 50% in roughly 30 minutes. But if you don't have a MacBook charger or don't wanna buy an extra one, you can actually go to third party route. And I'll leave some links down in the description below to some great third party fast chargers that won't break the bank. Next up, new on the iPhone 8 when compared to the 7 is the speaker system. Apple's saying that the speakers are 25% louder. I don't know if I can hear that big of a difference where it's 25% louder. The speakers definitely are louder though when I have music or podcasts playing right from the speakers. Again, I don't know that it's 25% louder, but it definitely is an improvement over the speakers on the iPhone 7. All right, the next feature that Apple made a big deal about is AR, augmented reality, and the fact that the A11 Bionic chip can chew through augmented reality apps. If you're unaware, augmented reality uses the camera on your smartphone in conjunction with an app in order to overlay things into the real world. So some examples that we see from Apple are you going to a park and placing a dinosaur in the middle of the park. You can walk around, look through your camera, walk around and see the dinosaur, all sides of it. You can point your camera at the night sky and have constellations show up right on the screen covering up the stars in the sky so you can see where the different constellations are. And I saw one cool one today that's less of a toy and something very helpful. It's one where you can do a two-way conversation through an AR app and one person can look and the other person can draw. So an example of where that would be helpful is, let's say you just bought a new coffee maker and have no idea how to set it up, but you have a friend who does. You can contact them through the app, point your phone at your coffee maker, and your friend, as you're looking at the coffee maker, can draw on it telling you, here's what to press, here's what to do, and you can go and look at the coffee maker and see exactly what it is you need to do. So AR is gonna be a big deal. We're still in its infancy right now. Over the next few years, they'll expect it to ramp up significantly. And with the iPhone 8, 8 Plus, and 10, Apple is jumping in with both feet. And last on my list, it's last but certainly not least, it's actually one of my favorite features of the iPhone 8, and that is the True Tone display. True Tone launched on the 9.7 inch 2016 version of the iPad Pro. And since that launch, I was hoping we'd see it incorporated on the iPhone 7, but Apple left it off. Here on the iPhone 8 and 8 Plus though, it finally comes to the iPhone. True Tone technology uses an advanced four channel ambient light sensor to subtly adjust the white balance on screen to match the color temperature of the light around you. So images on the display look as natural as on a printed page, reducing eye strain. So as I've said in previous videos, what it's supposed to do basically is mimic a piece of paper. It's paper white, if you will. 
If you have a white piece of paper and you walk into a room where the light is very yellow, that paper is going to take on a yellowish hue. You then take that paper into a more cooler light, like a blue light, that paper is going to then change from, it's not going to be yellow anymore, it'll then reflect back that blue light. That's what our eyes and brains expect from the color white, and that's what Apple does with automatic white balancing on the iPhone with the True Tone display. If you haven't used it before, once you start using it, it's hard to use a display that's not True Tone anymore. So there you have it, guys. That was my review or mini review, really more of a, here's some stuff you need to know about the iPhone 8 if you wanna make an informed purchasing decision. But let me know what you think. Did you pick up an iPhone 8? Are you on the fence or do you definitely know that you're going with an iPhone 10? Of course, if you're buying Android devices, your response is none of the above, but I wanna hear from those iOS buyers out there. Who picked up an iPhone 8 or 8 Plus and who's planning on picking up a 10? Comment down below, I'll meet you down there for further discussion. Please do drop a like on this video if you enjoyed it, and if you haven't done it yet, you can click or tap on my face when it appears you at the bottom of the screen in order to subscribe for free to the channel so you don't miss any future videos. Thanks so much for watching as always, guys. I appreciate your support. I'm Andrew Edwards, and I'll catch you in the next video.